A local nonprofit known for improving attitudes toward diversity is shutting down. WLWT News 5's Christy Davis is leading the way, looking into what this means for community members who rely on bridges for a just community. At the Bridges offices, much of the day today is spent in what will be one of the last board meetings as the organization starts to dissolve. But we talked to people today who feel the organization will still have an impact that's felt in the local community even after they're gone. And as an educator, I need to uh, you know, make sure I know and understand and respect the places and experience that my students, uh, my students have. Andrew McCauley says a chance for his Scarlet Oaks class to simulate being a runaway slave opened his eyes. We uh, went into historic buildings, hid in attics and basements, and traveled through um, paths. It was very cold, I believe it was December. So uh, it was very emotional. Over the course of its 70 years, Bridges helped foster diversity throughout the tri state, intervening in Cincinnati's most turbulent racial times and dealing with issues like bullying and gender issues. Now the group is closing. We just came up short, which led to the very difficult decision. Board member Thomas Urban says donations just couldn't keep up with costs. They've really done a great job over the past couple of years, really restructuring the organization, tweaking the organization. But they believe they built bridges that won't soon be forgotten. So we use the bridges experience that was intentional, uh, intended for students, we used it for um, staff and then for the district at, at large. Through our dedication and hard work, we've made Cincinnati a better place to live for everyone. And that's Christy Davis reporting Bridges will officially shut down in September.